Well, this week I'm going to be talking about a little app called Wireless Tether. Uh, works great on a G1. It also supports a couple other phones like uh, the Motorola Droid. Uh, there's a whole listing of supported phones. It, it's There's quite a bit actually. Uh, we have this linked out from our website uh, because unfortunately you can't download it from the Android Marketplace. You cannot. Uh, also, it's it's banned. You know what I mean? You can't download it. Mm. Like, I don't think you can download other stuff like this either. Good. So they like to keep a, a tight control on it. Well, yeah, it's the internet. But it is free and also... It requires a rooted phone. So if you don't have root, you're kind of SOL. Um, there are some other pay options that come out there. And uh, there's, of course, with the HTC Evo, you can share, like, what is it, four people? Eight. Eight people. You can go up to eight people on the Evo on nice. the Sprint. And then it's, well, then the Samsung Galaxy S, all those variants, I think it's five people. Yeah, and on the, because, like, it was weird because... With the Sprint Overdrive, you can do five people. But on the Evo, you can do eight. Yeah. Which is even cooler. That's As like, you want to say, Evo better. <laughs> yeah. It's like three more, <laughs> which is good. Three is better than, or eight is better than five. I would agree. Okay. Empirically. I'm glad we can agree on that. <laughs> so then back to wireless tether. Yes. Uh, this is really great. Uh, if you have, again, a rooted phone, it just comes right up on here when you install it again visit our website the android app uh the show notes for this episode and a link right out to a down to the google code page uh, so you know it's a, a real official uh, place to get the app and i've been using it for a while you can trust it uh the only problem you might experience is that if you're an at&t customer <laughs> you're not going to be able to install it because <laughs> you can't do non-market apps. Yeah, no kidding. So what you're looking at now on the uh, on the video podcast is the website right there. Uh, pretty simple. Google Code is great, um, but they've got links for all kinds of uh It's funny uh, that it's versions. on Google Code. When well, it's, it's an open source project. I guess, yeah. I know it's uh, that's part of the... The beauty of Android. Yeah. Well, the beauty of Google, they're so massive that they encompass all kinds of <laughs> And different they don't aspects even know what they're doing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but this app is great. Uh, all it, all you have to do is just press the giant green uh, thing that comes right up on here. It looks like a Wi-Fi symbol. Uh, and then it starts the tethering automatically. So. Nice. Yes. Yeah. And... Uh, for the most part, it's pretty hands-off. If you had just started up the app, then uh, that's going to work for you. Uh, but it also offers some access control. So let's see if we can bring this up. And what this will do for you is if you want to just control who it is that can connect, no matter what your password is, you know, no matter how, what the encryption level is, uh, this will let you check and uncheck boxes. <laughs> This <laughs> Dave messing around. He's talking about me. Uh, this will let you uncheck boxes or check boxes, letting people uh, have access to your Wi-Fi network you're about to create. So, and again, it will kill your battery. So, be very afraid. So it doesn't last that long. The only thing that really works for it is uh, if you have it plugged into a power source, and then it's pretty reliable. Uh, and you, you know, it's really tethering, at least for me anyway, is for that rare occasion when, uh, just using your phone really isn't going to do it for you. You know, with, with tethering, that was, I mean, I had the, I had the iPhone, yes. And that was one of the things that, uh, I liked about jailbreaking the iPhone was being able to tether. And yeah. now I upgraded to this piece of junk and I can't tether <laughs> anymore. But. The iPhone 4. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you're going to have an iPhone, you got to have the latest, right? I mean, of course, totally worth it's, it. It's like, I mean, the iPhone is kind of like a supermodel. Like it, it doesn't yeah. really do that much except for look really good and kind of <laughs> cost a lot of money. So <laughs> if there's another supermodel out there, yours is useless. Well, yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. But it is a pretty good one trick pony. Mm hmm. Yeah. You know, it's okay to be a one-trick pony as long as the trick is really good. <laughs> yeah, and this pulls a lot of tricks. 
Um, one of the other uh, quick features I wanted to mention on here though, well I guess a couple of them, uh, on the main screen of this app it shows you your battery temperature, uh, which is one of the things you want to watch out for uh, whenever you go to you know pull up the <laughs> As soon as you launch it, it's just in one of the corners where you oh, you, you see cool. like the Wi-Fi logo over here in the yeah. you know top right corner, and then over here you got the battery temp in the top left corner. Uh, mine's sitting at 30 Celsius right now. Not um, too shabby. But with this drawing so much battery power, uh, it's kind of yeah, it's kind of bad. Your battery is going to heat up very quickly, so uh, make sure you're careful. Let's uh, make sure this is centered too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So we're having all kinds of fun. I, I don't think we're still quite up at the new studio. But uh, and the That's last nice feature stuff. I wanted to mention was uh, this actually does support encryption. Ah. So you, if you want to, you can go into setup and uh, check the box that says enable Wi-Fi encryption. We're going to go all handy cam on this beast. Yeah, baby. Here we go. Boom. Where are we at? There we go. So yeah, all you gotta do is check to enable Wi-Fi encryption, and you can put in all the information that you want to set uh, for your for your network, uh, which includes you know what the the password is. You can change your SSID uh, to something custom. I think right now it just uses Android Tether, like a generic uh, SSID to get a hold of. So. It's a it's a pretty it's a pretty feature full app, you know. There's a, there's really a lot going on here, um, but it is again it it's kind of a little bit out of the mainstream because it requires root for your phone. Yeah. So, but if you have a G1, you you certainly certainly should root your phone um, because the software that's available for it without root is a very very bad. <laughs> yeah. Not kidding. <laughs> 